Kinabahan kayo, no? Sabi! <laughs> I'm used to seeing you use more of uh, damage heroes like Lapu Lapu, Yuzong, Paquito. But today, we got to see you use Exborg and Edith. So how is it like adjusting to tank your XP heroes? Mm, parang di naman po ako masyadong nahihirapan eh. So, kasi dati po, si Carl po yung nagtatang sa amin. So, parang uh, payback time lang po na parang sa kanya naman po kami mag -all -in. So, ready-ready din po talaga ako mag sa mga hero. So, basically... It take turns lang po. Like. To, to take turns. So, now you're adapting for Carl. And you didn't have a hard time at all adjusting because usually before, Carl was the one who used tank your heroes. So now everyone's ready to be able to adjust to help him use his assassin heroes. Oh, no, so it does not matter. Aqua even getting double kill on the Sanji. Dominator is sent under the tower. He's gonna get punished for this. The oh. fight continues. Team Liquid just breaks through the ranks of RSG Philippines. And right now, we do see setup though. Ooh, nice! Divine Judgment on the Ruby, pulls it into Frigid Frost. That's gonna be Nibor down for the count. Wild Charge already used, not able to really set anything up. Carl TZ on the Turtle, Zaman Force, Kusei chasing oh. down JP. Irad steals the Turtle away from Team Liquid, and now Ogi Shadow Kill is used. He gets the kill on the Sanford, and Benny Cutie double kill for the Hayabusa. And now Carl TZ realizing I probably should not be here right now. Ron, he was a level below of Carl TZ. The fact that he was able to steal it was immense, but look at this 1v1. Irat doesn't have Ogi Shadow kill yet, but he's got a good amount of damage. Nice Torn Rose and the Man of Execution! Oh! oh, that last hit! Almost! Irat just barely survives. Look at these two junglers. I mean, technically, Irat... Technically, Irat has lethal ignition, oh, but wait a second. Carl TZ dodged a wild charge with Torn Rose, and now Light just dies under the tower. But can they steal it away? Nibor is CCing the back line and Sanford actually steals it away from RSG. Light gonna pay the price in his presence. Ogi Shadow Kill comes out once again. But Team Liquid are still very healthy, so it's not gonna do anything. Will they actually chase him down? They oh. do! They find him oh. the Earth Shatter and call TZ with the shutdown and a taunt right in their face. Baby 40 though with that Lord Steel. Looks like so much more, some more drama's coming. Oh, Carl TZ is just going in for it. Is actually doing a lot of damage as well, but now he's really deep. Hopefully, he has ways out of the oh, Kusei! He, fought, he just walked into it. The fan execution, Carl TZ is showing us how it's done. Oh, as RSG Philippines, they have a lot going for them. Ooh, and there JP, it is. He found the divine judgment into the frigid frost, and light is gone. Killing spree for the Roger and Carl. A oh, a beautiful flicker. I'm offended over the wall, but is it gonna be enough? Carl still able to get out Sanford, not even using his primal wrath just yet. JP gonna be looking for him. Divine Judgment available. Actually, a good CC, but it's not enough. Divine Judgment still comes out. Aqua going to fall. Oh. We're gonna see Kusei being jumped on. The Lord secured by Carl TZ. Irad wants to get the kill onto Sanford, but he doesn't. Carl with the double kill. And four members down from RSG Philippines. The minions try and hold back the surging tides, but it is not gonna be enough. Team Liquid shows the world what they've got. They are the waves crashing upon the sands. RSG Philippines will be humbled once again as Team Liquid takes the series. Shows us the most in the utter importance of the playmaker. Doubt mm -hmm. this man and he will prove to you otherwise. We're here with Carl TZ, the MVP of today's game. Congratulations. We gotta talk about you doing the TP. You and Arad going back and forth. Hayabusa versus Lancelot. You guys were going at it. What was that about? Uh, ano lang po, parang part lang naman ng game yung TP. So, so parang ginagawa ko lang din. Tapos parang nakakamiss yung mga ano, yung nakakabang fights na tinitake ko. Parang pumapasok ako, tapos parang isang mali lang patay na ako. So parang napapump ako sobra ganun. The TP, he says it's part of the game, it's part of the excitement, but what gets him really excited are those clashes, that one move and it can go wrong. So it's really exciting for him and that really pumps him up with those risky moves. Because you and Arad, you guys have had a rivalry going on, but you know, impressive with the Lancelot. Would you say, because we had the M2 skin because of Carl, the GOAT, they awarded him the Lancelot skin. So would you say the M2 Carl Lancelot is back. 
feel ko po, in terms of skill po, parang same pa rin naman po. Pero feel ko po, mas kailangan ko angatan kasi yung mga heroes ngayon, parang kaya na talaga one hit in yung lance. Tapos medyo out of meta pa yung lance. He says in terms of skill, it's the same, but he feels like he needs to up it a little bit more because with the heroes right now, with just what? With one hit, they could overtake the lance. So it's not, lance is not really part of the matter right now, even though it's the assassin. So he needs to improve a little bit more. That's what he feels. Now, how confident do you feel seeing the tournament right now that you guys will get to the grand finals? 100% confident po kasi parang ano po eh sobrang lakas po ng team kapag nag-enjoy lang po He feels 100% confident because he feels that their team is super strong when they're just enjoying the game Now what's your message to the opponents that you're gonna face not just here in the group stage finals but towards the playoffs What's your message to them? Good luck na lang sa ating lahat Bigyan natin magandang laban mga fans na lang po he says, good luck to all the fights and the games that you guys are going to go up against with him. And let's give the fans a good fight. Congratulations once again. We love seeing you play with Lance.